You OK? Well, I'm better now he's home. Because I spent so many years not knowing where he was. Well, at least now you can stop worrying about that. Rest in peace, Nick. Oh, Ian, I'd almost forgotten. I'd like you to speak at the funeral. Well, like a, a reading? No, no, eulogy, you know, to say a few words about Nick. Wouldn't you rather do that yourself? Well, it'd mean an awful lot if you did it, because I remember how nicely you spoke after the burial of your Auntie Pauline. Yeah, I, yeah, I suppose so. Were you one of my dad's mates? Well, we kind of grew up together. I mean, your dad was a bit older than us, but... Yes, but your father, he didn't have many friends, you know. Not close ones. When he was a little boy, he used to say that I was his best friend. And I used to say that he was mine. I've got something that might help you, you know, with this beat. Could you come with me, Charlie? Of course. I have nightmares every night of Bradley falling. I've got his blood on my hands. That's never going to wash off. He wouldn't want you in here. Ronnie, I'm not Danielle. You don't owe me anything. Just let me help you. I don't want to be helped. OK? Just get on with your life and forget about me. Well, at least the lid is closed. <laughs> Doesn't stop you thinking he's going to jump out at you. <laughs> like father. Like son. How do you mean? From what I can understand, Nick was evil. It wouldn't surprise me if Charlie's not a chip off the old block. His weird hours appear that and not. Oh, stop on my account. <clears throat> um, I'm sorry, we're just looking out for Dot. Nick didn't always treat her that one. She'll be down in a minute. Look. I hardly knew anything about my dad, OK? I only met him when I was a kid. I'm here to look after Dot. Like Nick did. Yeah, you clearly didn't like him, I get it. But for Dot's sake, I think the least that you Don't can do is... Don't tell me what I should do for Dot's sake. Right, that woman's been part of my life since I was born. You, who, who are you? Some stranger she's just met. All right, calm down. Do you want to know who your dad was? I'll tell you, OK? He was scum. He was a murdering, thieving... Li no, leave it, Patrick. A lying con man who was only interested in number one. Everybody else turned their back on him, apart from Dot. And do you know how he repaid her? He tried to murder her. Yeah, that's right. He tried to poison his own mother for her money. Well, people do desperate things when they're on drugs. Yeah, he was filth. Okay, he wasn't interested in Dot. He didn't care about Dot. All he was interested in is what she was worth to him, dead. So him being in that coffin is the best news I've had all year. Have you finished? <sighs> I think you should go. Sorry. I think you should take your opinions and get out. Come on, Ian, let's go. Look, we really are all sorry you, for your last one. I'm just saying what you're all thinking, all right? Ian. Oh, oh, oh. it, it wasn't my fault, all right? What's all that noise? <gasps> Nick! Oh, don't, 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 don